वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस। नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 12.12। इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट अ बोट हैज एन इनिशियल स्पीड ऑफ 16 फीट पर सेकंड। सो लेट्स से दैट इनिशियल स्पीड इज वी नॉट सो इट इज 16 फीट पर सेकेंड एंड इट इज सेट दैट इफ इफ इट इंक्रीज इट स्पीड अलॉन्ग अ सर्कुलर पाथ ऑफ रेडियस सो वी आर गिवन रेडियस ऑफ करवेचर विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज एटी फीट and it is said that the speed increases with this rate right so we are given the v dot so v dot is 1.5 s and we know that this v dot will be equal to the tangential acceleration right and this is in feet per second so now uh, it is said that where s is in feet right so we are asked to determine the time needed for the boat to travel s is equal to 50 feet right so we have to find the time it takes to travel as the distance equals to 50 feet so now as we know that the tangential acceleration only deals with the magnitude of the velocity so we can use the kinematics equations so we can say that v dv is equal to at dv uh, at ds right so we know this equation right so v dv and we can integrate this so this will be v dv and at is this thing 1.5 s into ds right so now we have to integrate this from the initial velocity which is 16 until v and this will be from 0 to s so now if we integrate this so then this will be v square divided by 2 and this will be 16 into 16 from 16 to v and this will be 1.5 s square divided by 2 right and this will be from 0 to s so these two will be cancelled out and we will be left with v square minus 16 square and this will be equal to 1.5 s square so this means that velocity will be equal to 1.5 s square plus 256 under the root right so now we can say that now if i apply if we write that this is dv by dt right so uh, sorry this v is ds by dt right so we can write that this is like ds by dt so now uh, if we integrate this again right so this will be ds equal to 1.5 s square plus 256 under the root 2 into dt right so now if we integrate this so this is from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t so now this is a function of s right so we have to bring this to the other side so this will be 1 divided by 1.5 s square plus 256 and this will be dt only and this will be from 0 to t and this will be from 0 to s so now is a uh, uh, first i i will take 1.5 common from this denominator right so if i take 1.5 common so then this will be s square plus this 256 divided by 1.5 so this comes out to be 170.7 and this will be right or we can write it in two square roots right so we can write it like this as well right so if we take 1.5 common so then this will be equal to this thing right and this will be 0 to t dt right so this is constant we can take it outside right and this is and we can multiply this on both side of the equation right so if we multiply this so then this will be simplified so this will be from 0 to s this will be 1 divided by s square plus 170.7 under the root 2 and this will be multiplied to this side so 1.5 under the root 2 is uh 1.225 i think this is 1.225 right so we can say that this is 1.225 from 0 to t and this is dt so now as i have written this formula this uh, equation right so when we when we have such kind of integration when we have 1 divided by x square plus a dx so this integration is given by this formula right 
and I will give the proof of this formula uh, in a description right I will give a video link for this formula how to derive this formula right so now we can replace this x with s right so if we have this case so then the a according to this equation this is x and this is a right so we only need to replace this right so this means that this integration will be equal to ln and the x term in our case is s right so this will be s plus and this will be s square plus and our constant is 170.7 right and this will be like this so then this will be ln s s square plus 170.7 under the root and this will be equal to this thing right so it's 1.225 t this is from 0 to s and this is from 0 to t right now when we apply the boundary condition so then this will be l and s plus s square plus 170.7 minus and we have to substitute this zero right so this will be l and this will become 0 and 0 and we will only be left with 170.7 under the root right and this will be equal to 1.225 t now we are asked to find the time required when s is equal to 50 feet right so if we substitute s is equal to 50 in this equation so this will give us that time required right so we can write that this ln this will be 50 plus 50 square plus 170.7 square root minus 2.57 and this and we have to divide this by this 1.225 so this will give us that time required so when we solve this equation so t comes out to be 1.68 seconds right so this is the solution for this particular problem